just kept telling him that I needed room to grow and to find myself as a as a person, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not just as a, as a woman, but as an independent entity. And then I told him that I needed to get in touch with my uniqueness, but he could not handle that. <laughs> he said that I was driving him away. He said I was driving him away. <laughs> Do you think I was driving him away, Dr. Sobel? <laughs> Caroline, things end. It's just a part of life. It's how we deal with things ending that's important. I just cannot believe that it's over between me and Steve, you know? I mean, maybe there's still hope. Well, he did take out a restraining order against you, and I have to be honest, that's usually not a good sign. But what should I do? Well, the first thing that I think that you should do is to stop whining about this pathetic loser, for Christ's sakes. You are a tragedy queen. Steve doesn't like me. Steve doesn't respect me. Who gives a shit? Get a fucking life! Dr. Sobel? Yes, yes, I, uh... I was just reflecting on your whole situation. It's very interesting what you were saying. So I want you to think about it. Okay. And I'm gonna think about it. So we'll both think about it. <laughs> and we will continue next week when I get back from my vacation. <laughs> Caroline, what are you feeling? You're just like Steve. You just want to... You just want to get rid of me and throw me out. Now, Caroline, you know that's not true. Yes, it's true. I am going to see you next week, where Steve never wants to see you again. 